Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we're doing a tool revisit on one of my favorite tools. This is a 15 gauge finish gun by DeWalt and I'll get into why I like it so much after you click that subscribe button. Really appreciate that. Thanks for coming to our channel, guys. Uh, we have done some videos in the past, like two, three, four years ago. And we decided, you know what, let's do an update on some of these tools that we've been using and, and let you know how they're doing. So for all you tool freaks out there, let's get into specifics, okay? So this is the DeWalt 20 volt brushless 15 gauge finish nailer. I'm just running a, a fully charged four amp hour XR lithium ion battery on this gun. So this is the DCN650 brushless 15 gauge finish nailer. The fastener type is a DA style, 15 gauge angled finish nails. The fastener length is a inch and a quarter to two and a half. Does not need oil. I think I purchased most of my nails for this gun at either Amazon or Home Depot. Usually Home Depot because I need them that day and I'm on my way to work. So I'll swing by their tool corral and grab the 15 gauge finish nails that are galvanized. Either I'm running galvanized or stainless depending on my application. So if I'm just running some trim on the outside of a house into PVC, a lot of times I'm just using a galvanized finish nail. Uh, that's what I have loaded in here. They're two and a half inches. The one thing I like about this gun, which really makes it good for what I do with it, is this positive placement tip. It really helps put the nail right where you need it. And the reason I like it so much, I have two of these guns because they are used a lot in our softening applications. We just ran like 2000 square feet of softening with these guns and you can put this tip right into the groove of a tongue and groove soffit and nail it every time. So there's not as many misfires. You don't have issues with the tip slipping because it really puts it in a positive locked place. So that's why I really like this gun. The batteries will last a long time. I can get a full day. I can run thousands of nails out of one of these guns. And I just happen to have a piece of cedar and a piece of pressure treated and it's an inch and a half. And I'm just gonna run a few nails in it really quick just to show you guys. This is a spool up type of gun so you can depress the plunger and shoot, but I like to let it reel up a little bit to make sure I get the depth I'm looking for. So there is an adjustment over here for depth. So depending on how deep you want the finish nail to go, there's a dial right here and a gauge right here and you can adjust how deep you want the nail to go. That's as deep as it'll go. So let's drive one like that. And that went in really deep compared to the first nail I drove, which didn't go in very deep at all. So I actually have a few too many nails in this gun. I'm just gonna run these. Let's try that again. Okay. So you can kind of see the difference in the depth of these two nails. This one was a little shallower. This one's a little deeper. I think when you're running softening, you can't run it at full depth because of the angle you're shooting at, it won't allow it to drive right. So, or, or it won't activate the gun. That's the problem. Like if you're running on an angle like this, you can't get the plunger to depress. To get the gun to activate and you're running at an angle like this, you're gonna have to change the depth setting so that it will allow you to do that. So that's why these were dialed out a little bit because when we're running finish nails on an angle, there we go, now you're dialed. So now you can run. So again, that's another reason why I like the gun because I was it had multiple adjustability on the head. Other guns don't have that ability to adjust the fine tuning. When they say finish gun, this really is a finish gun where if you're just nailing up a bunch of 15 gauge nails for trim or something like that, you may not need this particular head. But for what I do, I definitely need this gun. It gave me confidence to run $7 a lineal foot vertical grain cedar and not have issues getting the nails. And we ran all stainless steel nails. As a matter of fact, they were Metabo HPT stainless steel nails through my DeWalt gun but it worked, it worked really good. Uh, so that's another thing guys, make sure your nails are compatible to your gun because I've had issues buying some generic stuff before through a local lumber yard, paid a bunch of money for these nails 
and then they didn't run through this gun in particular. So I would recommend either using DeWalt stainless if you're gonna run stainless or pick up some Metabo HPT two and a half inch stainless. Those run through this gun as well. Other brands may or may not run through this gun. So there is a light on the gun as well. It's in the back. So I kind of wish it was on the head so I could see it a little bit better in the dark, but it, at least it does have light. It's just not quite, in my opinion, in the right place. There is also this, it's a 16 inch on center gauge. I've never used it though. I don't think 16 inches on center, maybe it's for framing or, or different purposes like that, but I don't really use it. Maybe you do, leave a comment below if you do, or if you use it, if you have a reason why you use it, so other viewers can see that as well. Then there's also a couple protective heads. If you're worried about marring up your materials, you can pop these off and put them on the head of your gun. I've never taken them off of this mount right here. They've always been there and they probably always will be because what I use for it, I don't, you know, cedar is soft, so you can dent it. Maybe it would have been a good idea for me to put one of those on here, but it was working so well, I didn't want to jinx it. So, uh, but they do have a couple protective covers. And besides that, it's just, like I said, man, a great gun. There's also a hook right here, so you can attach it to joist. So the other thing that I use this gun for religiously, and again, why I love it so much, is when we're hanging all of our lumber, our joist to our ledger, I'll use this gun and I'll shoot five nails on the left and four nails on the right or vice versa, whatever. I'll pin my joist to my ledger before we put our joist hangers on so I can get the proper elevation. So just for those two reasons, I have two of these because I believe in them so much. So what I'm doing is I'm actually nailing through, like if this is, well, this is not a good example, but if I'm just usually nailing these from the side, like so. And it's that fast. Instead of using a framing gun to lock the joist to the side of the house, which in my opinion, leaves a lot of cracks. It's not attractive. These finished nails kind of disappear and then I can slap my joist hangers on and the joist is not gonna move. We don't recommend you walk on it until you get the joist hanger on, but I wouldn't recommend walking on it just with a couple framing nails in it either. But those are like the two main reasons why I use this gun and definitely worth having because of those two reasons. So uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite tools that I use. It's my go-to. I have a couple other brands as well, but this is my go-to gun. It's also easy to clear a jam. If you have a, a head jam, you just pull up on this nosing like this and pull this back and then you can clear the nails or you can push the driver back if it gets stuck. Those things happen all the time. But if you get a jam, they're easy to clear. So I've never had a problem with mine. Uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys, if you have one and if what you think of this gun, I really like it. So if you like this revisit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon and leave me a comment below. And don't forget to like this video, guys. Thanks for watching so much. Have a great day.